What up, ladies and gentlemen? Guess what? Yeah, that's what's up. Learning's what's up. All right, so uh, Jamie posed the question on my Facebook page, and we're going to answer it up on the YouTube video page. <laughs> okay, words. Here we go. So in this problem, um, what they're wanting her to do is <clears throat> write this um, with this information right here. Write that in slope-intercept form and point-slope form. Um, okay, so we'll start with slope-intercept. All right, now, as you, know, as you know from the words in the title, two most important things in slope-intercept are the slope, which is the M, and the intercept, which is the Y-intercept. I put X right here. Sorry, no, is that... No, they gave the X. I was just kidding. <laughs> I can learn to read, okay, Tyler? And then the Y-intercept, okay? So, you need the y-intercept and you need the slope. Okay, well, cool. Well, let's work this problem. Um, right here, you were given the m, which is our slope, so that was easy. We've got that, so we know it's y equals negative one-third x, and then plus b, which is the y-intercept, which is where it crosses the y-axis. Now, what they gave us was the x-intercept, which is where it crosses the x-axis. Now, what coordinate is it crossing there for the x-axis? Well, we know that the x is 3, because that's how far it went over, 1, 2, 3. But we know that it went up and down 0, because if it's intercepting with the uh, x-axis, then it didn't go up or down at all. So it's 3, 0. That's what we need right there. Okay, now, make sure you don't put that in for b, because that is not b. No. Okay? So, let's do some solving. What we're going to do is, you're going to have to plug in this coordinate into this equation for your x, and your y, and then solve for your b, okay? Because what you need is you need the m and the b, all right? That's all they care about. x and y are just a coordinate on that line, which we know this is a coordinate on that line. So let's solve it. Our y is 0. We still know our m is negative 1 third. Our x is 3. And then that's b, okay? Now, I know my b sometimes looks like 6's. Don't blame me. Blame the government shutdown. It's really their fault when you think about it. I'm just kidding. Okay, here we go. So let's do our multiplication stuff first. So 0 equals and then negative 1 third times 3, which we would just do 1 times 3, which is negative 3 over 3, which is negative 1 plus b. Now what do you do to get rid of that negative 1? Opposite of minusing 1 is adding 1. That's weird the way I wrote that. Add 1 to both sides. That becomes 0. And then 0 plus 1 is 1. We found our B, which all we need was the M and the B. So we're done with the slope-intercept version. So it's Y equals, our M was negative 1 over 3, X, and then plus B, which would be plus 1. Boom, found that. So now we just got to do point-slope formula. Okay, well, cool. So let me shrink this. Okay. All right, so this is all we need from this one, and let's do point-slope formula. We know our m is still negative 1 over 3, and we know our x-intercept is 3, okay? Now, the two main things in point-slope formula are the point and the slope, which we know our m is already our slope, so we've got that. Check. Rock the vote. All right, and then we know a point on that line. That's all we need is a point on the line, which... We've got as well, because we know from that last one that if it's the x-intercept, that means that it goes over 3, and it goes up and down 0. So we've got our point and our slope, so this one's actually going to be even easier. So it's y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. Now, the uh, y1 and the x1 are the only places you're putting it in, okay? Because you want to leave this as your x and your y, just like in slope-intercept form, that x and that y... They just hung out like they were, okay? See, we didn't mess with those because that's where you can substitute in an X or a Y coordinate and figure out where the point is on that line, okay? So let's plug in our stuff. Start with the M. That's easy. Put it right there. Be negative one-third, okay? Now, we know our Y goes there and our X goes there. So we've got this one done, this one done, and this one done. Now, this is where some people mess up on point-slope formula. This negative right here, don't forget about that little fella. Don't you forget about me. I'm trying out for American Idol. I don't know if I knew that because I'm American and I can spell idol. Okay, so I-D-O-L. 
<laughs> That's right. I'm going to go on a spelling bee. That's on you, Jennifer Lopez. She can't even spell her name. J-Lo. Just use her initials. <laughs> whatevs. T-T. Wait, that's my symbol, the pi symbol. Okay, whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about. So, when you plug it in, make sure you just put the minus signs there, okay? That, that has to be there. That's what the, the problem looks like. Just like it's uh, plus B, that's right there. That has to be a plus sign unless you put in a negative, okay? Because that minus sign would tell us that that's a negative number. So, don't just take this lightly, Okay? So, let's plug in our X and our Y. We know our X is 3, so it's a positive 3, so we just put it in like this. It's going to stay a negative, because we started with a negative, so it stays a negative. If it had been negative 3, we would turn that into a plus sign, but it wasn't, so don't do that. All right, and then we know our Y coordinate, which is 0, so it's negative minus 0. Now, that's point-slope formula right there. You're done. Now, some teachers, oh, you know who you are, Miss and Mr. Whoever. Some teachers will want you to simplify this part right here because it can be simplified, but then again, it's not really point slope formula because you're taking it out. But then again, if we were doing slope intercept formula we and it was zero, we wouldn't use that. But it wasn't, so it doesn't matter. So this is probably right. If your teacher's told you different, you can do it like this, which is certainly understandable. It just kind of negates the whole point slope formula thing because now it looks like you could just distribute it in there and turn it into this formula right here, which... Let's be honest, nobody likes point slope formula. It's that one that nobody ever talks about. It's like, I don't know, Mark Wahlberg's brother, and then nobody knows his name. He's like a chef or something. I don't know, saw a commercial on something. But what we really care about is old Mark Wahlberg. That's slope intercept formula. Thank you. Wow. We did it, guys. Outro? Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out tarveracademy.com. Yeah, check out the Facebook page if you want. Hit me up on Twitter. Um, you got this little guy right here, um, which an easier way to get there would just type in swordhorse.com. It'll take you straight there. I've also got a ton of stuff over at tarveracademy.com, a lot of videos. I've got a lot of help stuff, and it's organized really well. And so the end of that. And uh, check me out on Instagram. I didn't put that on here, but what is that? Look? It looks like this or something. I don't know. Whatever. My Instagram is the same as this one. I didn't put that in that mug. What? Bye-bye.